Not unlike a giant cosmic blinker, a supermassive black hole 570 million light years away flares every 114 days. Recently, astronomers have noticed powerful eruptions of light coming from the hole. The monstrosity is about 20 times the mass of the one at the center of our home Milky Way galaxy. So far, the only explanation scientists have is the black hole is ripping chunks of matter out of an orbiting star. It happens every time it gets too close. This discovery is rather exotic because no one has ever seen a black hole do something like that before. Usually, if a star comes close to a black hole, the space monster shreds it into thin strands, like spaghetti. After that, the black hole swallows most of the star's matter. The remains arc away in long, bright streamers. But not in this case. Every time the star approaches the black hole, it loses about three times the mass of Jupiter. And that's the largest planet in our solar system. This also results in a tremendous flare that astronomers can see on Earth. The flares are so regular and consistent that the researchers managed to predict several of them. They happened on September 6th and December 26th, 2020. A nebula is a cloud of dust and gas in outer space. You can see it in the night sky, either as a bright patch or vice versa, a dark spot against some glowing matter. The red rectangle nebula in the constellation Monoceros, or the unicorn, is unlike others. Our universe has very few straight lines. And here you are, looking at a giant rectangle, which is a huge gaseous nebula, no less. And then, there's also the color, a bizarre shade of orange-red. Astronomers suppose the glow might be coming from some unusual activity inside the dust clusters. This activity is likely to be going on at the molecular level. The universe is around 13.8 billion years old, but HD 140283, a star informally called Methuselah, is apparently more than 14 billion years old. Even more paradoxical, the star has some chemical elements that are more typical for a second generation star. Those are the ones formed from dust and gas left after the explosion of the first generation of stars. And still, the main problem is, how can a star be older than the universe itself? So far, the most likely explanation is an error in observations. It could make astronomers believe the star is older than it is. The star called Vega is relatively close to us, a mere 25 light years away from the sun. It's not the most usual star out there. It's brighter than it's supposed to be. And it's not round, but rather egg-shaped. Astronomers claim that's because the star rotates so fast, its shape changes. See for yourself. It takes the sun 27 days to make a rotation, and Vega needs only 12 and a half hours to turn on its axis. This speed also influences the temperatures on the star's surface. Its poles are several thousand degrees hotter than the equator. There's a supermassive black hole 250 million light years away from Earth. It produces the deepest sound ever detected from any object in the universe. It's one quadrillion, which is one with 15 zeros, times deeper than what the human ear can hear. The Fermi bubbles confuse astronomers to no end. It's not every day that our home galaxy blows bubbles that are hotter than 7 million degrees Fahrenheit. Coming from the center of the Milky Way galaxy, the spheres are made up of nothing but powerful gamma rays. It would be a bit less strange should one bubble stay inside the other, with both of them at the center of the galaxy's core. But the two giant spheres hover independently above and below the black hole at the center of the Milky Way. Even more bizarre, they touch and form an hourglass shape. It makes the entire structure look like the number 8. The bubbles themselves are well-defined and slightly sharp-edged. They're also breathtakingly enormous, spanning a total length of 50,000 light years. Scientists have yet to crack several mysteries connected with the Fermi bubbles. Like, what can produce such extreme energy? It's as powerful as 100,000 exploding supernovae. Or, 
What's with the off-center nature of the bubbles? Something must be going on there, even though it seems that the bubbles surround nothingness. K2-141b, a planet outside of our solar system, seems to be not that different from Earth. If you visited it, you'd see liquid oceans evaporating into the atmosphere. Just like on our home planet, the vapor then condenses and gets back to the surface as rain. But instead of water, all this happens with rock. The surface of the unusual exoplanet is covered with lava seas. In most places, they're tens of miles deep. And since the temperatures on the planet reach 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit during the day, the magma in the oceans vaporizes into the atmosphere. After that, supersonic winds, moving at a speed of one mile per second, carry the rock vapor to the planet's night side. There, the vaporized magma cools down, becomes liquid again, and falls to the surface as rocky rain. Far away Neptune-sized exoplanet Gliese 436b is a paradox. It's made of scorching hot ice. The planet completes one full orbit around the red dwarf Gliese 436 in two days, 15 hours, which means it travels remarkably close to its parent star. That might be the reason why the planet's temperatures rarely drop below 800 degrees Fahrenheit. But the strangest thing? The planet has huge volumes of water ice, known as Ice X. It remains solid despite blistering temperatures. Neutrinos are teeny, almost massless particles that can move at nearly the speed of light. They can easily pass even through metals and travel miles and miles without anything to stop them. You can be sure that some neutrinos are passing through your body right now while you're watching this video. These elusive subatomic particles get born in supernova explosions and in nuclear reactions inside stars. About 4,000 light years away from Earth, in the constellation of Serpents, there's a bizarre planet. Astronomers think it could once be the core of a massive star, long gone now. Five times the size of Earth, it seems to be one enormous diamond. The planet is denser than any other discovered so far and is made up of mostly carbon. It's so dense that astronomers think this carbon might be crystalline. It means that at least some part of the planet is diamond. Most stars move around the center of their galaxies following fixed orbits. But not HE 0437-5439. This 30 million year old star that appeared not far from the center of the Milky Way decided to set off on a journey. Astronomers think the star might have come across the supermassive black hole Sagittarius A star, and the space monster might have pushed the star out of the galaxy. It's now traveling through the Milky Way's outer halo, moving right into interstellar space at a speed of 1,600,000 miles per hour. Stellar halos surround galaxies and are home to stars and star clusters. This discovery turned out to be extremely confusing. Such short-lived massive stars, because tens or even hundreds of millions of years is a very young age for a star, aren't usually found in the halo. There, you can only encounter the oldest stars in our galaxy, those that are at least 10 billion years old. When disastrous magnetic field collisions occur at the sun's equator, they cause ginormous tsunamis of plasma. These tsunamis move across the star surface at a speed of 1,000 feet per second. Such a tsunami can last for weeks at a time. They happen almost every decade. More than 7,000 light years away from Earth, there is the Eagle Nebula. It's a young cluster of stars, just 5.5 million years old. The Hubble Space Telescope managed to take an image of several dark silhouettes near the nebula's center. Those are the so-called pillars of creation, towering tendrils of interstellar gas and dust. They're also a part of the nebula's active star-forming region. Newborn stars are hidden in these wispy columns. Unlike their supermassive siblings, hypothetical mini black holes could be really tiny, not bigger than an atom. But even so, just one minuscule thing 
would have the mass of a thousand sedans. One theory claims tons of micro black holes could have appeared right after the Big Bang and the beginning of the universe. Some scientists even go as far as to say that several mini black holes pass through our planet every day, totally unnoticed. Scientists think white holes might exist, even though none has been found yet. When some space object comes across a white hole, it can't enter it from the outside. But light and matter can escape from within the hole.